Okay, now this fellow is a little complicated. You have log of 27 cubed to the base 3, log to the base 3, to the base 2, to the base 2. So again, as in earlier in Dyson's problem, we start with the smallest bracket. If you want, you can keep copying this again and again, or we start with the smallest one over here. So we can just write this smallest one over here, for example, can be written as log 3 cube raised to 3 to the base 3. The other things are going to be as they are. We don't have to copy them down. So this, if you see, is nothing but log of 3 raised to 3 into 3, 9 to the base 3. Which is other things are going to be the same, which is going to be 9 log 3 to the base 3 which is going to be 9 itself because log 3 to the base 3 is 9. So ultimately what we have at this stage is this and then you have log 2 and then you have log 3 to the base log of 9 to the base 3. Now this further we need to simplify it is log 2 and you have log 2 again. This can be written as log of 9 has to be written in terms of powers of 3. Log of 3 squared to the base 3. This again is going to be log 2, log 2 and this is into 2 log 3 to the base 3. You're seeing your way out. You see log 2 and here we have log this will again become 2 into 1. So ultimately this is going to be log of log 2 to the base 2 to the base 2. So this again is log of log 2 to the base 2 is 1. So it's log 1 to the base 2. So such a complex thing turns out to be something such a small log 1 to the base 2. So this became log of 3 cube raised to 3, that is 3 raised to 9, so it becomes 9 log 3 to the base 3, which would become 9. Hence, at the next stage, what we have is log of, this becomes 9. So, log 9 to the base 3, which is written as log 3 squared to the base 3, which is written as 2 log 3 to the base 3. So, at this stage, we have log of log 2 to the base 2 to the base 2. Hence, we have log of log 2 to the base 2 which is log 1 to the base 2. Now here we know log of 1 to any base is going to be 0. Remember that. One more rule. We use it for the first time in one of the problems. So this becomes 0. So ultimately the value of these expression or this particular expression is 0. So the option here is 0. Let's see. Yes, we seem to be on the right track. Let's move further. Okay, now here we have log x to the base 2 plus log x to the base 4 plus log x to the base 16 is 21 by 4. Now, how can we do this? Now, first thing if you see 2, 4, 16, <clears throat> they are all 4 and 16 are powers of 2. There are various ways of doing it, you could possibly, but here remember you can't add all these, you can't write this as log x cube because the bases are different. Hence, either we convert this but we can use that rule that log a to the base b can be written as log a upon log b. Change of base rule because you change the base to 10. Hence, we have it that way. The same way this can be written as log x to the base to upon log 2 sorry plus this can be written as log x upon log 4 plus log x upon log 16. So, hence this whole thing has been given as 21 by 4 in any case. Now, this can be now written as log x can be taken out as a common factor if you want right now or we can write this. Now, this is nothing but log 2 plus. Now, log 4 can be written as log of 2 square plus 
1 upon log of 2 raised to 4 21 by 4 now this is going to be log x 1 upon log 2 plus you're using the rule power root becomes a coefficient 2 log 2 to the base 2 to the base 10 and this one is 1 upon 4 log 2 we need have to mention the base is taken for granted is 10 is 21 by 4 now this one would become log x lcm of this whole thing is going to be 4 log 2 and this will become 4 4 log 2 by 2 log 2 is 2 so plus 2 4 log 2 by 4 log 2 1 plus 1 is equal to 21 by 4 and hence this turns out to be 7 by 4 log x upon log 2 7 by 4 log x upon log 2 now how do we solve this further this is this will be is equal to 21 by 4 we can cancel away the 4 and hence you get log x upon log 2 is 21 upon 7 we can do that because 7 is now the coefficient so now this we converted back to this format log a by log b can be written now as log a to the base b because we are going to use the exponential process hence we need to write this as log x to the base 2 is 21 by 7 that is 3 so now you change it to the exponential form x will turn out to be 2 therefore x is 8 among these so what have we done here we have first converted them Two, broke them, changed the base to 10 and return it, taken the LCM and you kept on equating with 21 by 4 and then cancel the coefficient then you get log x by log 2 which is the same as log x to the base 2 is 3 so x is equal to 2 cube hence the right option is x is 8 that is this one yes this is how we can solve as I told you earlier whenever you have these kind of a problem Keep a pencil, keep a pencil and start working. Pause the video, continue to see how it works. In case you're stuck up, start the video and check again where you are stuck up. Okay, so this is how we get this. So let's check what we have here. Yes, the answer is 8. Fine, from this we go to the next stage. Okay, <clears throat> now. Given that log 2 to the base 10 is x and log 3 to the base 10 is y, find the value of log 60 to the base 10. Very simple, the base is common, we just had to express 60 in terms of 2 and 3. So first let's look at 60. So we have log 60 to the base 10 can be written as log of 12 into 5. Okay, to be on the simpler side, 12 into 5 or we can do our prime factorization exercise to the base 10. Now this can be written as 12 can be written as 2 square into 3. 4 into 3 which is 2 square into 3 into 5. Now again here 5 can also be written as 10 by 2. So we have 2 square into 3 into 10 by 2 because we don't know what log 5 is to the base 10. So this gets cancel so eventually we have log 2 into 3 into 10 by 10 if we could even have written it as 6 into 10 even that way we could have done so now this is going to be written as log 2 to the base 10 We're using the rule log a b c to any base is log a plus log b plus log c plus log d and so on log 3 to the base 10 plus log 10 to the base 10. Now log 10 to the base 10 is 1 in any case. Log 3 to the base 10 is y. Log 2 to the base 10 is so log 60 is basically x plus y plus 1. That is this particular option is the right one. Hence what we have done over here is 
prime factor at 60 and written it as uh, 6 into 10 you could have written it as but I deliberately did this because suppose you have it as 5 how you could convert it as 10 by 2 so that these could get cancelled. So yes, it's x plus y plus 1. Right. Now let's see from here where we can go to the next one. Okay. Quite similar to this sum. Quite of these sums are similar to each other just for the transfer of learning process. Log 2 to the base 10 is x. Log 3 to the base 10 is y. Then log 1.2 to the base 10 is what? Log 1.2 to the base 10. <coughs> 1.2 can be written as log 12 by 10 to the base 10 which can be now you're using the rule log a by b it's not log a upon log b log a by log b is nothing you can do about it but here it is log of a by b which can be written as log 12 to the base 10 minus log 10 to the base 10 this of course is 1, 12 can be written as 4 into 3 which is the same as 2 square. Why do we need to do as 4 into 3? Because we know the value of log 2 and log 3. Now this further can be written as log 2 square to the base 10 plus log 3 to the base 10 minus 1 which should be 2 log 2 to the base 10 because we've taken the index as a coefficient plus log 3 to the base 10 minus 1. Now 2 log 2 to the base 10 is nothing but x so we have 2x log 3 to the base 10 is y minus 1. So it's going to be 2x plus y minus 1. So this is going to be our option. So the correct answer is 2x plus y minus 1. And yes, we have it right. Let's check the next problem what we have. Okay. Again, same kind of sum. We have log x is m plus n, log y is m minus n, the value of log 10x upon y square, which can be written as log 10x minus log y squared. Again the base is going to be 10. So we write this as log 10 to the base 10 plus log x to the base 10 minus 2 log y. Log 10 to the base 10 is 1. Log x to the base 10 is m plus n. Log y is n minus n so it's minus 2 log y so it's minus 2 n plus 2 n it's 2 bracket n minus n this will turn out to be n minus 2 n minus n n plus 2 n 3 n and plus 1 so it's going to be minus n plus 3 n plus 1 or 1 minus n plus 3 n so among these this is the answer the previous two sums as well as these they are very neatly arranged one after the other how we could take a particular expression and use the rules of log. So the value of this log 10x by y square is minus n plus 3n plus 1. Let's check. Yes, we have 1 minus n plus 3n. Okay, this is a mighty simple one. We have 2 log 5 to the base 10, log 8 to the base 10, minus half log 4 the base 10 simplified value of this is 1 <coughs> right so we have 2 log 5 to the base 10 so we have this can be written as log 10 by 2 to the base 10 we write this here that way plus log 8 can be written as maybe 2 q to the base 10. In all probabilities, maybe things could get cancelled here. Minus half log 2 square to the base 10. Now, this can be now written as 2 log 10 
minus log 2 because we are using the rule log a by b. Now the 2 is a common coefficient so it has to be a common factor plus 3 log 2 to the base 10 minus this 2 goes here so it's minus 2 by 2 log 2 to the base 10. So this gets cancelled and here we have 2 log 10 minus 2 log 2 plus 3 log 2. I am not writing the base because we can take the base as 10 minus <coughs> log 2. Now this is going to be 2 into 1 because the base is 10. Minus 2 log 2 minus log 2 will turn out to be minus 3 log 2. This and this together plus 3 log 2. These two are equal and opposite get cancelled. So our final answer is 2. So on simplification all this whole thing. So this is just a hint as to at many places terms could get cancelled. We need not to worry about converting 8 always in terms of 10. We can write it as 2 cube because there is going to be a 2 over here and many things could get cancelled over here. Ultimately it's going to be 2. Okay we have that as 2. Okay, so now we have something a little more complex, but you remember we did, there was something like this, even we do it in indices, we need to start with the smallest of brackets, so it's going to be log of whatever, whatever, we start with this particular bracket, it's 1, 1 minus, 1 minus x square raised to minus 1, so it's 1 upon 1 minus x square, and this this raised to minus 1, the whole raised to minus half. So this becomes 1 minus x square minus 1 upon 1 minus x square, the whole raised to minus 1, the whole raised to minus half. This gets cancelled and hence you get minus x square upon 1 minus x square, the whole raised to minus 1, which can be now written in the next step as reciprocal of this, that is, 1 minus x square upon minus x square raised to minus half. So this whole thing has shifted, this whole, whole expression has become this and here you have 1 and you have log. Right, so now this becomes now minus and minus 1 minus, so this will be made positive. Again, you take LCM, so you get x square plus 1 minus x square upon x square, the whole raised to minus half. This gets cancelled, which is nothing but log of 1 upon x square raised to minus half. This can also be written again as either you take it so we get it log of x raised to minus 2 the whole raised to minus half which would be log of x raised to minus 2 into minus half which is going to be log x. Hence we get the answer as log x. So practically it's still a simplification of an expression we are not using anything any major concept of log or logarithm here. So it's basically the answer is log x. So among these the option is x. So it's going to be taking the smallest expression, simplifying it again and again and again and you end up getting ultimately this. So the correct answer is log x. And let's see, yes, to reaffirm it, we have it as log x.